Hello everyone, today I'm going to do the $20 makeup challenge. Starting off with a foundation, which I actually use on a daily basis. This is the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Makeup. It's a liquid foundation, as you can see, and I'm going to apply it using my fingers. I'm just going to dot it on my face, just like so, and I'm going to blend it really well into my skin using my fingers. Now this is a oil-free all-day wear foundation. I really enjoy it because it dries kind of matte, has a matte finish and also the coverage is medium to full. You can definitely build it after it dries. You can definitely apply another coat on the areas that you need more coverage and um, it's very affordable. There's a huge selection of colors and I really enjoy this foundation. It's one of my favorite. It also has an SPF 17 sunscreen, which is awesome. Now I'm going to use, I'm going to wait for it to dry. And then I'm going to apply some more foundation onto my neck. And just keep on blending it in. I like to use on my face and my neck um, my whole four fingers at the same time. It's easier to blend. And of course, um, I try to blend the foundation into my hairline very well. That's very important. After you wait for the foundation to dry, you can um, apply another coat a foundation on the areas that you need more coverage. I'm going to use the foundation as an eye primer. It's a great base for any eyeshadow pretty much. And here I'm going to use it as a concealer. Just pretty much dabbing it onto the skin and blending really well. Then I'm going to curl up my lashes with the e.l.f. eyelash curler, which I got from Target. This is the most affordable eyelash curler I've ever seen, um, only for $1. And my lashes are pretty straight, so I definitely need to do this step. <laughs> okay, moving on, I'm going to use this bronzer by NYC and this e.l.f brush and I'm going to try to fill in my eyebrows. I really don't need that much but um, my eyebrows look much more done and defined with a little bit of color and this is exactly what I needed. You can also use this powder to contour it's um, very blendable, very smooth, just like its name, Smooth Skin Face Powder. I really like this bronzer and I also use this on a daily basis. Now the next step is going to be um, taking a eye, white eyeliner sorry, and I'm going to apply this on my lower waterline. This is going to brighten up my whole makeup look gonna make me look more awake and rested. I'm also going to put some um, some of this eyeliner pencil into my tear duct and blend it with my finger. This gave it a more um, awake look and then I'm going to apply it run, right under my brow onto my brow bone and smudge it lightly with my finger. That will give my eye more lifted effect. Next, I'm taking this e.l.f. waterproof eyeliner pen in black. And uh, as you can see, it has a felt tip, which I really like. And I'm going to shake it really well before I use it. And here I'm going to make tiny little strokes. I'm pretty much resting the felt tip onto my lashes and then drop the color. 
I love this eyeliner because it's so easy to apply and it dries matte. It's very um, mistake free. It's really, really um, nice to work with. If you guys are not very experienced with eyeliner, I highly recommend starting off with something like this, which is very forgiving. This is the word I was going to use. Very forgiving and very easy to use. Now here you can see that I kind of struggle filming and applying <laughs> eyeliner. It's pretty funny looking. Um, now I'm going to tight line, which is applying eyeliner onto my upper waterline. Oopsie. And make sure you don't poke yourself in the eye like me. This will give our lashes more fuller look. Just filling these little gaps in between the eyelashes. And if your eyes got watery, just use a Q-tip and dab it onto your tear duct inside of it and that will take care of all the liquids into your eye. The next step is going to be applying the e.l.f. using the e.l.f. bronzing brush and the bronzer. This I do on a daily basis as well. I really like this brush. It's only a dollar. You can use this as a foundation brush, as a blush brush, and you can definitely find different applications for this. I really like it. It blends um, very well. It's super soft and super light. So as you can see, I'm applying this, um, trying to contour my face under my neck, onto my chin, and onto my hairline. Next I'm just going to squeeze the brush and dab some bronzer and I'm going to uh, trying to slim my nose, just applying some bronzer. And then I'm going to try this Wet n Wild Mega Protein Mascara in Black is Black. Actually, to be honest with you guys, this is the only product I had to buy. Everything else um, I already had in my makeup collection. And I purchased this one because it, the spoolie is not inside of the mascara, which you know you can use as a spoolie separately and you don't have to buy one. So I'm going to open it and plug it in and get some product. Now, I'm going to be honest with you, I wasn't really impressed with this mascara because it was very liquidy. It's supposed to be nourishing mascara. I didn't really get any volume and length with it. It kind of just made my lashes kind of spiky and just wet. So I didn't really bother applying two coats. You can definitely wait for this first coat to dry. And apply another coat but um, I was good with just one coat really if you um, make a mistake like I just did and apply some mascara onto your lid you can easily fix this with um, a dry q-tip just remove the color it's a very easy fix something that can help is actually looking down onto your mirror that will um, reduce the application of mascara onto your actual lid and actually I still <laughs> I still um, get it all over my lid unfortunately so clean it up clean it up with a q-tip and you are good to go you can definitely apply mascara on the lower lashes I'm just trying to um, have more lifted eye look so I'm just gonna keep it on the upper lashes and now I'm going to apply some uh, bright red lipstick actually this is a very pigmented lipstick for 99 cents and I'm really happy with the look I kept this challenge actually under $20 the prices may vary in your location but you can always uh, check this online 
this is pretty much my final look. Um, I didn't use any lip liner. I was just very careful with the application of the lipstick. And you can use a Q-tip to correct any lines and make your lips look perfect. Yeah, so that's it. This is the look. I hope you guys like it. Please leave me a comment below. I will see you in my next video. Yes, I just noticed my nails are matching my um, lipstick. So thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.